Hello my friends. Hope all is well with you and yours. If you are new to my channel, my name is Ariana and I like to do the message and share the word that God has given to me. Um, so if you are new, there's also going to be um, notes that will be taken and will be added to the YouTube video and then I will put the link above. So please feel free to let me know if you need prayer um, and just reach out. So today's message is about God and how when Jesus was born, they said that his, he should be called Emmanuel. And we'll go into where it speaks about this and what his name means and also the qualities of life that he calls us to have. So we'll start out with the first devotion and it is from Jesus Calling. It says, I am God with you all for all time and throughout eternity. Don't let the familiar, familiarity familiarity me and my husband were trying to say this earlier and we got tongue-tied again um, but don't let this become too familiar of that concept and numb its impact on your consciousness my perpetual presence with you can be a continual source of joy springing up and falling streams of abundant life. Let your mind revibrate with meanings of my names. Jesus, the Lord saves, and Emmanuel, God with us. Strive to remain conscious of my presence even in your busiest moments. Talk with me about whatever delights you, whatever upsets you, and whatever is on your mind. These tiny steps of daily discipline, taken one after the other, will keep you close to me on the path of life. And there's a few scriptures here. There's in Matthew, it speaks about his name and where in the Bible um, he was called and what his names should be. And it says, Matthew um, 21 says, And she will bring forth a son, and he shall be called Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. And then in verse 23, it says, Behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which is translated God with us. And in James, is it James? No. Um, Acts, so Acts. Have my notes in here. All right, my little tab. Acts two twenty eight, and it says, "You have made known to me the ways of life. You will make me full of joy in your presence." And then we go into the second devotion, which is based off of James um, six. Sorry. James 1.19 and it says qualities needed in trials so then my beloved brethren let every man be swift to hear slow to speak and slow to wrath for the wrath of man does not produce the righteousness of God And there's so many times where things can go wrong in our lives, you guys. And in these times and in these days, when God says to not even in the busiest moments forget about His presence and Him being with us. Because when we forget 
and we start to get anxious, that anxiousness and the frustration of things not going right will end up in destruction, my friends. So as we go deeper, um, it says most of us have that one friend who is known for his temper. The cartoon image of a person with steam coming out of their ears and race or face redder than a tomato. The person who it seems goes from 0 to 10 on the anger scale in a blink of an eye. James encourages us to be quicker to listen and slow to speak and become angry. As we listen swiftly, we understand the other person or situation better. The better we understand, the less anger we have. Take time to listen. It will keep anger at bay, and our testimonies to our friends will not be tarnished by anger. Very few good decisions have been made with someone in anger. In the history of mankind, there have been no peace treaties signed when one side was angry at the other. Anger can usually be avoided as we listen more and speak less. The proverb says we have been given two ears and one mouth to listen twice as much as we speak. Often we listen to, res to respond instead of listen to understand. God wants us to live at peace with others as much as it is up to us to do that we need to listen more and try to understand. This allows us to love the other person deeper than we can, we did before and to pray more specifically for them. So you guys, with all that's going on in the world, there's so many different things that we may not agree on or so many different things that um, are going on in our life that we feel we have no control over. And when we have no control, it's hard for us to not squirm, wiggle, or maybe even have self-pity or frustration or become angry. And a lot of the times, we are all going through the same thing. We're all having our own struggles on this life journey. But you know what we do also have all in common? We have an amazing Lord that walks with us and that gives us a guideline to these trials. And He calls us to know who He is and that um, to know His love and to remember that He's always with us, always with us. So my friends, there is a prayer. So if you guys want to close your eyes with me, I hope you guys can hear me. I am outside enjoying the weather. Um, but it says, Lord, help me to listen quickly, speak slowly, and keep anger from me. Forgive me for the times my anger has been too quick. Peace, a prince of peace, help me through listening to, to be a bright, um, a bringer of peace. Help me to understand those who speak and respond in love. Thank you, God, that you are the God who is with us. And Jesus, you're here to save us from our sins. Please search our hearts and our minds and take out the wickedness. Bring wisdom and love and, um, and peace to, to and through us, Father. And we just thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. So there is two questions. It says, how am I listening? And where have I been a peacemaker today? So my friends, I hope this helped you with all and all that's going on in the world. I'm coming, baby. And I just thank you for joining me today. It's been a true blessing. May you know that God is always with you and that you can always find peace and bring love within any situation. All right, I love you guys. Thanks for tuning in, and I will be back again soon.